Seth Rich is a man who was found dead, who was heavily connected to the Democratic National Committee and the emails that were leaked about Hillary Clinton. Currently, the conspiracy is that he was murdered by her or by someone she hired for those leaks getting out, costing her the presidency of the United States. Now, the man's family is dissatisfied with the efforts of local police and the FBI who have been investigating his murder. So they hired a private investigator, a former DC homicide detective, Rod Wheeler. And now his investigation uh, it certainly indicates that it was connected to the leaking of those emails. And in fact, uh, Fox News also said by their law enforcement sources that it was also connected. Now it reveals Seth Rich had been in contact with WikiLeaks prior to his death and had leaked thousands of internal emails to the to the, the well-known transparency group. My investigation up to this point shows that there was some degree of email exchange between Seth Rich and WikiLeaks. The police department nor the FBI have been forthcoming. They haven't been cooperating at all. I believe that the answer to solving this death lies on that computer, which I believe is either at the police department or either at the FBI. I have been told both. That computer, which people seem to be unable to find, seems to hold the key to his communications between himself and WikiLeaks. Now, when Wheeler was asked if his sources had told him whether the information links Rich to WikiLeaks, he said, absolutely, yeah, that's confirmed. Now, additionally, Wheeler, who was hired by the family to investigate Rich's murder, has received information from his sources inside the DC Police Department that suggests powerful forces are working to cover up the truth about the killing. My investigation shows that someone within the D.C. government, Democratic National Committee, or Clinton team is blocking the murder investigation from going forward. That is unfortunate. Seth Rich's murder is unsolved as a result of that. Now, interestingly, this information would seem to confirm previous statements made by WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange that Russia was categorically completely without responsibility for the information that was leaked from the DNC. Uh, these recent revelations regarding the investigation also explain why the FBI was not allowed to inspect the DC servers that were allegedly hacked by the Russians. It also explains why a private company was brought in to analyze uh, the allegedly hacked computers, as the FBI's analysis would likely have proven that there was no hacking of the DNC undermining the Russia hack the election propaganda that we've been facing for months now. Thus, the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, conveniently relying on the analysis of a private company called CrowdStrike. Now, interestingly, CrowdStrike CTO and founder Dmitry Alerpovich, Alerpovich uh, is a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council. This is a think tank which is openly anti-Russian in sentiment and is funded by Ukrainian billionaire Viktor Pinchuk and who also happened to donate at least $10 million to the Clinton Foundation. Now, this is very suspicious. Now, what legitimate reason would the DNC have to prevent the FBI from investigating their servers? After all, they're the ones making the claims that they were hacked by the Russian government. Well, the only rational explanation for this is that there's something on those servers that the DNC doesn't want the FBI to find. And it would seem like what they don't want them to find is that there was no evidence. There is no evidence of a Russian hack. But in fact, this information was leaked by Seth Rich, who wanted to get the dirty dealings of the DNC and Hillary Clinton out to public. Of course, this can neither prove nor deny the allegations that Hillary Clinton uh, et al. was responsible for the death of this man. But what has appeared so far seems definitely enough to cast serious suspicion on herself and those who work around her. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.